Let's say that you are some two-dimensional creature who lives on the XY plane and one day. A giant three-dimensional sphere passes through your world. What would you see? What you would actually see would be the curves formed by the intersection of the sphere and the XY plane. The curves you just saw were the level curves of the sphere. For an arbitrary function, you can obtain its level curves by moving the graph of the function through the xy plane. You can also obtain those level curves by slicing the graph of the function by the planes. Defined by the equation z equals constant. Now that we know a bit about level curves let's talk about level sets. The level set of the function can be seen as generalization of a level curve. It's a set of all x, such that f of x equals some constant where that constant is in the range of f. Now, let's take a look at level sets of three variable functions. I chose this function as an example. Let's set this equal to some constant, let's say 4. If we graph this equation, this is what we get. This is a level set of our function. We can choose any constant in the range of f to obtain several more level sets. These level sets are also called level surfaces. And of course we can find level sets of functions of more than three variables, but we won't be able to visualize them as they would require more than three dimensions. So, this video ends right here. Hope you liked it.